Okay, we covered matrix arithmetic, which means the time has come to talk about some more data science oriented operations. Cool. I'm almost certain that if you have our studio open as you're going through the lessons, you will A, grasp everything a lot better, but that's a given, and B, have the matrix.mat data we created in the previous lesson loaded. If you have started a new session and don't have the script from last time saved, I have entered the code we used as comments, so feel free to recreate the matrix because that's what we'll be using in this lesson. All right, so I have my matrix of US and worldwide box office grossings for the Matrix movie franchise. And I want to learn how much in total all three movies made at the box office, both around the world and in the US only. Luckily, there is the simplest command in R that lets me do that. It's called call sums, and it returns the sum for each column in your data structure. The only argument you need to pass is your data. Like this. There. These are the sums of all values in each of the two columns. Notice that the S for sums is capitalized. Remember that R is a case-sensitive language? If you don't use the proper capitalizations, R won't know what you want it to do. Right. As you can probably guess, if there is a call sums, there will probably also be a row sums function, just as it was with the call names and row names and R bind and C bind. And there is. Let's try it out even though it isn't too useful in our particular situation because one of our columns contains the worldwide box office figures and the other contains the US cross, which is part of the worldwide statistic. Nonetheless. Now we have the total US and worldwide grosses for each movie in the trilogy. Fantastic. What if I wanted to know how much on average the movies made in the US and across the globe? Well, I can use the call means function. It works exactly like call sums, but gives us the means for the columns in our data structure. Like this. Again, be mindful of the capital M because R is case sensitive. Awesome. We can also do row means, and that will give us the averages for each row in the matrix. And there it is. We can now find out the sums and the means for columns and row in a matrix. That is super, super useful when working with larger data and you want to get a quick feel for what it has in store for you. Often, it will be useful to save the sums and averages you compute as separate rows and columns and add them to your data structure. Can you guess one way to do that? I'll give you a couple of seconds. Of course, you can save each output as a vector and then simply bind what you need displayed in the matrix with rbind and cbind. Let's try it out. I will go back up and save the call sums and call means results into vectors called total and average. And I will create a new matrix called matrix.prelim with rbind and stick the two new vectors to the bottom of my data. And there you have it, a nice and neat little matrix that tells a number-informed story. Excellent. Okay, let's wrap it up here. But before we go, I have one final question. The blue pill or the red pill? You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in our land, and I will show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. For more videos like this one, please subscribe.